Hey, what's up guys, I'm in XNL, finally back with a new video, and in this video I will be reviewing the Blitzwolf BWMP1 projector, so now, let's get at it. This video is sponsored by Blitzwolf. If we take a look at the box, you can see that this device is Wi-Fi ready, it has a pretty small size, it downscales it to 16x9 with the WVGA, it supports AC power and it has a, uh, for sure a setting. At the bottom you can see uh, also the compatible de devices and it is the same thing at the top, it supports Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 as well as Android from 4.2.2 and iOS. And here you can see a couple of uh, the uh, inputs and outputs. And now let's take a look at the actual projector. Alright, so on the first side we have where you plug in the AC plug and it for sure powers on your device. And if we take a look at the back, we can see the IR receiver and this is the only place on the device that has one which is kind of the downside depending on how you have uh, the projector set up. And at the bottom you can also see where you can plug in a VGA plug. And on this side, we have a couple of uh, IOs. Uh, we have where you can plug in the headphones and AV jack, the HDMI, and also place to put in SD card. We also have a USB jack as well as a USB jack out so we can charge your device. And if we take a look at the top of this dusty device, <laughs> we can see uh, a couple of the buttons that you can use if you have lost the remote or you just don't want to use the remote control. And if we move up a bit higher, we have two knobs. The top knob is just to focus and you'll see uh, the whole thing will come up. And the second one is just uh, to fix the incline on the left and the right side. And if we take a look at the underside of the device, you can see some sort of knob and it's kind of like a small tripod, but it just serves so you can uh, like bring up the front of the device a bit higher so you can actually project uh, better than if you had it slightly straighter. One of the things I hate the most is this lens cap. It doesn't like fit at all. And even when you try to put the lens completely in and you try to put the lens cap back on, it's pretty hard to have it try to stick. And sometimes when it does stick, if you shake it just a bit or if you hit it on something, it will fall off. So now let's go ahead and actually project something and test it out and see how it works out. So it takes about 7 seconds to use and because I already set up the device, uh, you can see that it does says no signal and you can just go ahead and take a look uh, at the settings. You have a couple of settings, uh, you can adjust the picture and in the picture you can adjust uh, the color temperature and it's, uh, or the brightness in this as you can see. You can, you can even save it into a, a user uh, customized setting so uh, depending on the user by example if you want to have a certain setting certain settings with different things you can have this like medium cool and uh, also as i said the user and as you can see you can also adjust certain aspects of the sound like it is currently at the standard sound mode you have also the balance as well as the eq and a bunch of other stuff that you can do now if you also have your settings for the time so you can have a timer a auto sleep and you can also put in a clock and then you have more general options as you can see like the language and it supports a wide variety of languages from English to Chinese. So the first thing we'll be testing out is the AirPlay uh, with my laptop directly from the YouTube uh, website. Uh, and as you can see, it is pretty straightforward to uh, connect. Uh, you have uh, the quick uh, setup that you should follow on the screen. You can also check out the manual. But for some reason, when I tried to test it out with YouTube, it didn't actually work. As you can see, uh, the actual uh, issues that it stays loading. But in a couple of seconds, I'll directly um, airplay my laptop, my whole uh, laptop monitor onto the projector screen. So as you can see, we got it working. And as you can see, the color isn't the best, but that is because uh, I'm uh, filming the projector that is uh, projecting onto uh, my wall or actually my ceiling. And it doesn't give the best color through the camera, but the color is a bit better, but not the best when you look at it directly at the projector. But it also depends on the distance you are at. The closer you will be, but not too close, it has to still be in focus. Uh, and that's when you'll see uh, how good the color is. It isn't as good as for sure as my MacBook Retina, but it is pretty good for the price. I think it retails for about $70 to $80. And that is a pretty good deal for a projector of this type. But the only thing I hate is, is that it outputs, I believe, 480p. 
And right now I have my laptop plugged in by HDMI into the projector. As you can see, there isn't that much of the color difference, but there, there is a difference with the Wi-Fi because depending on how good your Wi-Fi or how bad your Wi-Fi is, you can have a uh, different experience and it, it is always better to be directly plugged in. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It has been a long time since I last posted a new video. I think it was back in December of uh, last year, which was 2015. So yeah, and again, this is a sponsored video by Blitzwolf. So if you guys are interested in getting this projector for whatever reason you want, because uh, in my opinion, it is a pretty cheap projector. I don't know if they have any cheaper projectors or better projectors for around that price. It is definitely something you should look at. But this projector isn't that bad for the price, but it isn't also the best because it outputs 480p. You can have a couple of issues with the remote because of the IR receiver and its placement. I also don't like the way you have to mount uh, the projector. You might need to have a high table depending on your ceiling. You also have to be pretty close and it doesn't give you the uh, wider, the widest range of resolution with the best colors possible. So yeah, again, I guess that this is it. If you guys uh, like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below and also don't forget to subscribe because it really helps out and you know that we are coming through the months of September and October and I should be having a couple of clones for the next iPhones and whatever products come next so I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe peace